I think I'm Big Meech huh? Larry Hoover Whipping work Hallelujah How's it going everybody? Nick Kiger here, Kiger Strength And today I want to talk a little bit about um, comfort So we're going to switch gears here a little bit from the working out footage and stuff And uh, I'll try to keep this as short and concise as I can and I like to talk about topics that really um, can be applied to both working out and uh, life in general. And I think this is definitely one of those terms. And in my opinion, comfort is one of the most overrated things uh, in our society or in the world, really. And um, the reason I think that is because when you're like the, the definition of comfort is you're stagnant you're not really moving anywhere you're content with where you are at the moment and so basically you're in a place where you're no longer moving forward anymore and for example in the gym a lot of times you'll see people i see it all the time you know people they go in uh, you know, they they go in, they start bench pressing, they do uh, 135, they do, do it 8, 10 times. Maybe if they're feeling dangerous that day or risky, they'll throw on a 10 on each side and do their, stay in that 8 to 10 rep range. And because that's what they're comfortable with. They know that they're going to be able to do that. They know they're going to be able to get 8 to 10 reps every time. And that's why they do it. They're, they don't want to push themselves out of their comfort zone. And I mean, that's fine. But to think that you're going to be able to do that and then all of a sudden, you know, just be able to throw on whatever, 315 one day and be able to, you know, rep that out is not, real, is not realistic because... You have to keep pushing yourself. You have to, you know, you have to do things that you're not sure you're, if you're going to succeed. You know, They're, they make you uncomfortable because you know there's a very good possibility that you could fail. And that's great. So for the working out example, you know, going in uh, and maybe throwing on and uh, putting on 185 pounds or whatever on the bench press and really pushing yourself. You know you may only get a couple or you may not get any at all. But I promise that just by do by attempting it, you're giving yourself that mindset that you know you're striving to get there and you're eventually going to get there. So. Um, in terms of working out, I really think that's crucial to just keep getting out of your comfort zone, doing things that, um, you know, are going to make you feel really uncomfortable because that's how you're going to get stronger, both physically and mentally. And, um, you know, in life, uh, a good example is, you know, I don't, whether you're uh, at the bar or at a party or whatever it may be, um, and, you know, most likely your comfort zone is going to be, you know, just hanging or just chilling with whatever your group of friends, your boys or whatever. And or instead of going to, you know, talk to that girl that you like or whatever. But um, that's your comfort zone is kind of just, you know, staying all over there, maybe saying, oh, like, look at her or whatever. But if you go actually go up and to get out of your comfort zone and, you know, talk to whoever that may be, then, um, yeah, you may fail. But the the um, reward that you could get uh, far outweighs um the you know risk of failure and that goes for everything you know um so i think that's really important and everyone uh, has different comfort zones so you know not what makes someone else uh, uncomfortable might not make another person uncomfortable you know so 
this just you just have to figure out ways to get yourself out of that comfort zone because everyone can everyone can do it everyone has you know their comfort zone whatever it may be and i just think it's really crucial you know both in working out or whatever it may be to get out of that comfort zone because you'll uh, grow much faster and the things that made you uncomfortable before um, are are gonna be a joke now you know so you're gonna put 225 pounds on soon and be like wow I can't believe I ever you know was like scared of that or whatever it may be so um, yeah that's just my thoughts for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed it so if you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh. Oh.